So is it just a matter of cutting this off? Yes. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> That's how we work so well together. He knows the answer and he just checks it. Well, this is a this yeah. is probably one of the more detail oriented CAD to real life projects we've done. So from here to here should be six and three sixteenths. Yeah, you were within a sixteenth there. Perfect. Dang. So yeah. I didn't even consult the measurement. I measured from here to here. Yeah. Nice. Well, twelve and three quarter from the particular spot that I chose to measure from. Cool. Yeah. So this will be sliced, and then the mounting plate will go. <coughs> so right there. Let's the plates. Help me figure out if I have the right one. So the only thing you don't have is right here. Oh, okay. So you're gonna cut a plate that covers this whole opening. Yeah. And then it looks like I have the, these are the up here parts. Yeah. So this goes underneath the landing. On the back side of it. And so no, it's there. this way. Right, right, yeah. right. And then I can give you the exact. And then this goes here. It will. Uh, there's going to be like right about here and up a little bit. Uh -huh. I'll give you the dimensions for all that. Okay. Because I was giving you space for welding here. And there's another reason why we did it like that. I don't know why. Yeah, this interacts with... Oh, it's because this hits the very bottom of the landing. Yes. No, but this is great. Uh, everyone except one of these from CNC so far has been pretty destroyed. Like, uh, one that we... Destroyed? Well, I'll show you. One of them has been destroyed. Okay. Yeah. I said all but one. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, this, this thing's pretty bad. If you look at it, yeah, it's twisted. Oh yeah. And instead of spending an hour fixing this or heating it, I'm just gonna press on and see if they'll remake this. I mean, we could even give them another flat cut. Yeah. But like, I'm gonna have to heat that's and the up. absolute hell out of that. Yeah. So I just. Put this one down. The next one I grabbed was perfect. So cool. Good stuff so far. Yeah, it looks great. Keep in mind, there's going to be a tread plate here. Yeah, and it's getting covered by wood. Right. And this, so it's going to it's going to make it a little difficult to access this stuff. Oh, it worked out. Dude, it worked out so good. Hell yeah. N cutting that tip off right there. Yeah. I, I don't have to do any grinding. You whatsoever. know what? You know who did that? Me and Fusion. Thanks, Fusion. This guy. I listen. Uh, and and you execute. Me. And execute. Walker. What? If he doesn't get this camera out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Damn. <laughs> no, you're not. You're all right, not. I'll get that detailed for you. And then uh, the mounting plates out of that's, order. That's all I needed to show you guys. Q, <laughs> go back to time one. Hello everyone, welcome back, happy Friday. And here's a quick update on the stairway to Vivor. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> that was Aaron's joke. I don't wanna claim that. No. That was yours. No, you have to now because you just gave yours. me shit for stealing it. <laughs> I want both, I want both. <laughs> I wanna make the joke and then give shit for it. And then deny it. Congratulations. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. I win. This is the upper stringer from the staircase that I twiddled with yesterday and Aaron and I ended the day with putting the tread plates on. Came out pretty good, all things considered. With all the, I knew this was gonna happen and it's very subtle, but with all the welding, we did still manage to impart a slight bow in a four by eight rectangular tube, which is frankly insane, but welding be like that sometimes. All we have left to do here is cap this 
and fully weld out the tread plates and they will be good to go. Maybe some more cosmetic treatment on these weld seams here, but I'm getting real tired of doing that. So there's gonna be a good enough point coming up real soon. Uh, and we've got the lower stringer on the fixture table here, supported by our Vivor chain hoist that hasn't died yet, congratulations. Uh, this one's got a big plate on the bottom, so it was very easy to clamp it to the table. We put every level we own on it. <laughs> This was just cleaning up yesterday. We're not actually using all those, but we got the upright reasonably level, which is tough because the four x eight sort of has a balloon shaped cross section, <laughs> which makes it exceedingly frustrating to derive any sort of levels or squareness off of. But nonetheless, it's good enough. And the main point here is we comparing this angle between the floor floor and the stringer to the angle that we should have based on the CAD model. And if that's right, and this is right, then I believe that gives us the green light to weld on the tread plates. There's no way it can go wrong. See, he gets it. So we are poised for success. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the tread plates here, ready to go. We plasma cut them and they were bent by CNC fab. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of up and down and uh, careful measurement. Nothing to it but to do it. Here we go, but now you're up to speed. Sorry, I didn't clarify. <laughs> oh, what do you need? I just felt like this, it's been time lapse for a while. Yeah. It might be good to update the people, and you for that matter, on where we're at. How it's going. Doesn't it look like stairs? Dude, it looks sick. So, there's a lot of moving parts to this thing. Uh, the key, the, the really, the, the Bible here is just using the angle finder against the table here and making sure that it's 40.1 degrees, thereabouts. And then we just level these treads as we go. You can see the, the groups of levels that we've got up there. We hung, we're supporting the treads from the I-beam with a chain hoist, which allowed us to fine tune the height and dial it in pretty good. Um, these things are not precise units of measurement so they're as close as they could get and now you know we, sh we we put the treads on sometimes we got to shim on one side or the other tack one side and then bend it up and tack the other side that kind of thing but we'll be able to get all but the top one on hanging from the ceiling and because I wrapped the strap around the top I kind of screwed myself a little <laughs> bit but that's okay it's uh, just exciting to be at this stage dude no kidding because this one's this one could be done by the end of the day, which is a pretty reasonable uh, milestone in my opinion. Yeah. And this guy just needs one more sort of cosmetic fill pass right here. That's all that grinding and welding you saw me do. Like structurally this is done, but because of the radius of the tube and the fact that these are a little wider than four inches, um, they kind of stick out. So I've had to do fill and blend and fill and blend just to try to get it as smooth as possible. I'm sure there'd be some fab shops that stop there, but yeah, if Aaron's out. taught me anything, you, there can never be enough grinding. So we're doing it, so we're doing right. Well, and that looks great. Yeah, so this was what I would, this is the desired result here. Um, some of these may need even more pass, but th I spent more time on this one than I did this one. But Aaron is making up something to hang the thing from the top plate so we can change the straps around. Um, may not be OSHA approved, but. Neither is that. You see how the strap's about to come off the hook? <laughs> and I've got this clamped to this table, so if that failed, it'll rip the corner of the table. It'd be, don't worry about it. <laughs> These are all just tacked on because I wanted to get them all in place and then kind of stand back and do a, does that look like crap test? 
Yeah, I think it looks great. You know, the industry standard design yeah. looks like shit. What do you think, Spikey? It was awesome. Where were you <laughs> when they built the stairway to heaven? I was getting a delivery. <laughs> The collars could have been, been bent with a little more precision because I've already shown, you see on that one, like the well is round flat, but there's still a like, crater. Yeah. All right, well, as you were. Magic. Not the gathering spike. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at that. Fits perfect. It's perfect. Bye bye. See you after powder. So the camera died and uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little illustration of how this thing uh, actually went in before the stairs. They, you know, they drilled into these little posts, whatever uh, fabricators call them. And then this landing here, um, yeah, this guy went horizontal into the posts, you know, kind of like, so, uh, I've, it's been a while since I've taken an art class. So my perspective is a little off, so I don't know how big it looks in the space, but eventually, you know, that's where the uh, bottom stairs are gonna attach to, like so. And then up above, there's a uh, another wall that you can't see, which is where the, the reverse side of the stairs going further up are going to go attached to. So yeah, they attached the landing first. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why, because I'm not the designer, nor the welder, nor the fabricator, nor the anything on this project. But yeah, this is what the uh, the stairs will look like. I'm, I mean, almost a photorealistic drawing here of uh, the uh, installation of the landing and where the stairs are gonna go. All right, Walker out. All right, the stairs are ready at CNC Fabricators. Finally. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. Yeah. great. We'll, yeah. We'll also, kind of finally. Uh, but we're going to go pick them up. Bye, guys. We'll be right back. Good luck. Thank you. We love you. Arriba Derchi. Yeah. Walker's an old man now. We're not selling those. <laughs> well, if you want it for $2,500. <laughs> uh, we are spike. selling those. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I feel like there's something between us. Well, it's not ozone, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Party, aren't they? Yeah. They look great. When you get like yeah. my light bright. Oh, look at that. you get some good light on it, look look how shiny that is. Holy cow. Yeah, that's gonna look good with natural light. Yeah, it's gonna and be then, really well lit. Those look really good, man. Yeah, I'm excited.
All right, so what are we doing here? Okay, what's, what's so this is a beautiful residence being built by the one and only Jack Hamlin, Hamlin Builders, out here at a very nice location near a golf course, staying anonymous on purpose. But we have um, built a pretty rad set of mono stringer stairs up, landing up, and it is being showcased in this beautiful stairway that is more or less completely windows except for the very top portion where the, the roof is but uh it's gonna be a very kind of a statement piece in this house and uh been a lot of thinking that's led up to this moment boy do i hope it's all worked out <laughs> let's keep that glass glass <laughs> yeah 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 we've got a lot of spikes cad prowess got us here so if anything goes wrong, yeah, uh -huh. that's why he's here. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna hang him from that, <laughs> yeah. that post from, from this guy. <laughs> yeah. Fine, um, but no, it's uh, nothing left to do it but to do it, and hopefully it's gonna be a pretty awesome payoff and honestly portfolio piece for us. Mm -hmm. We also have new merch. That's not it. You can have this for twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> Katie, happy birthday. You did it. Woo. It's your special day. I hope it's awesome, and we love y'all's support. Thank you so much. Uh, your husband sure is a cool guy. Yeah. And therefore, we think you're cool. Yeah. Have a great day. Happy birthday, Katie. Is it happening again? No, this is a good thing. Oh. Say happy birthday, Katie. Her birthday is May 27th. Oh, happy birthday, Katie. It's May 27th today. Well, no, it's not. It's May oh. 27th on Monday. It's May 27th on Monday. But happy birthday. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> happy birthday, Katie. Yeah, there it is. Katie, I hope you dig the shirt, and <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah. And super shout out, thanks to Frank. Yep. Happy birthday! Happy birthday!